How's it going there folks? This is Quinn, that snazzy iPhone guy, and this is the video review of the 99 cent Mac App Store app, Skedaddle. Now be sure to stay tuned to all of the videos this week as we're going to have an excellent week ahead on Snazzy Labs and that snazzy iPhone guy. We have a lot of really fun videos that you'll really enjoy, and be sure to look out for those. Now Skedaddle is a very, very basic application, and really I've only seen glorious reviews about the app, so I was very excited to try it, but really was kind of let down by the limited functionality of the application. Some of the like glorious reviews, I'm actually wondering if they were paid or something of that sort, because they were so, there's nothing wrong with this application, and there's a lot of things I can spot that I dislike. Now, what Skedaddle is, is it is a very, very basic application that allows you to hide items on your desktop. So, you may be thinking, oh, it's a subfolder. Not really. It's kind of more inaccessible than a subfolder. So, we are going to open Skedaddle, and you can open it by choosing any shortcut you'd like. I currently use Control, Option, Command, Spacebar, but you can do whatever you'd like. And as you can see, the desktop revealed itself right here. To close Skedaddle, you can press the X right here, or you can use the same key command. So that's nice, it's very beautiful, slides in and out, and isn't obtrusive to your workspace. Now, when you hit the settings button, you don't have a lot of options. You can change the location of the slide out panel. I keep it on the left because a major shortcoming of the application already is, as you can see, I have four files right here. Well, when I slide Skedaddle out, I can't drag those files in because Skedaddle resides over the top of my desktop. So that's kind of an issue. So I keep it almost always on the left side. Okay, now you can also set a password. Let's just make our password period. All right, we have to put that in both field, fields. And now that's our password. So when we go to enter or open Skedaddle, it will not allow us to do so unless we enter the password. Enter the incorrect password and you're denied entry. However, do not think of this application as a file vault manager because it certainly is not. There's no encryption, there's nothing of the sort, and it's very easily broken into. So the password feature really is kind of meaningless. Unless you're keeping like not really secure files at all, I would not recommend using this to store secured or sensitive data. Now, right here, we're gonna turn the password off. Right here is where you can drag files in. Here's another issue. Let's just do one file. It does not snap to the grid very well. If I put it in a weird spot, it's gonna stay in a weird spot. And the same holds true when you drag multiple files in. It just kinda gets thrown in there. There's no real organization. Now, of course, you can arrange it with an easy right click, but having to do that every time I drag a file in is quite bothersome, okay? Now, you can choose to show the view options, and this will allow you to um, edit a few things. That window certainly did not pop up. Well, when it's working, what that show view options, oh, there you go. It allows you to change the icon size, the grid spacing, and the snap to grid. This does not affect the finder. It's only for Skedaddle. Now let's open Skedaddle back up, and this is the most annoying and largest shortcoming, really, of the application as a whole. It does not allow you to open said files in the app. So if I try to open this JPEG, no way, Jose, I cannot open it. Sure, I can move it in here, but because it's hidden from the desktop, it is a hidden file, and it will not be accessible unless you choose to unhide it. Now, you can say, well, Quinn, just go to Finder Options and say, show hidden files. No, it doesn't work, because these aren't actually hidden from the desktop. They're hidden in some weird fragmentation of Skedaddle as an application, and really, it's a big issue. So, if, boom, I try to open the app, I can't. I have to drag it all the way back to the desktop, to open it, and then you may just be thinking to yourself, well, why not add one singular fo uh, folder to your desktop? And that's what I kind of felt as well. I mean, sure, it was hidden, but you can't freaking access it unless you drag all your files back out. You can't even use Quick Look. It's ridiculous, and I think it's very, very poorly designed. Now, here's the last issue. For whatever reason, if you choose to delete Skedaddle, which, honestly, I wouldn't blame you, but if you choose to delete Skedaddle, uh-oh, uh all of your files are inside of this weird partition or fragmentation of Skedaddle. So they will remain infinitely hidden or gone. I don't really know exactly where they're hidden, but those, those files are not accessible ever again. If I accidentally delete Skedaddle or I have a hard drive crash and Skedaddle gets corrupted, every single file in here will never be accessible again. Big, 
boo boo. Last thing that there is no option for, which really bothers me, is you can't choose to float skedaddle above other windows. Windows reside on top of it. So you do have to go all the way to the desktop level to pull up skedaddle. In theory, it's a great idea and I think it's pretty, I think it's well built, but it just lacks too many necessities to become a serious application. And I really can't recommend it to anyone because it doesn't become a shortcut. It becomes something that's longer and harder than just creating a single alias or a single folder on the desktop directly. This is Quinn, that snazzy iPhone guy with a not so positive review of Skedaddle for Mac. And as always, stay snazzy. See you later, folks.